Hello everyone. Welcome to Do-It-Yourself Living and Gardening. Today we're going to be looking at indoor plant pests, specifically bugs. Uh, I, I let some bugs kind of proliferate on this one tree basil that I have so I could do a demonstration on how I get rid of these bugs. Now the reason how we got these bugs is we brought a Christmas tree in, a real one, and it had bugs on it and it found its way to this plant. So I was trying to figure out what is the best way to get rid of them. Now you can get those little yellow, little stick, sticky cards, and you can put them on your plant, but that's not going to do very good of a job. It'll catch some of them, but the majority of them are still going to thrive and breed and lay eggs on your leaves. So what I've come up with is my own solution for reducing them. It'll get rid of them to about 95%, and then if you do this process, oh, well, once every couple weeks, then you're going to keep the population down to where it doesn't matter if there's a couple here and there. So what I'm going to do first is to show you what the bugs look like, show you that little sticky card, and show you that uh, they actually do have bugs on it. And then I'm going to show you the method that I use to eliminate most of the bugs on my house plants. Okay, so here you see my tree basil. It's a wonderful plant. Though it doesn't taste like basil, but it is a very nice herb. And this was grown outside in my garden. I brought it in the fall, and uh, it likes it in here. But it'll be going out in the spring after the chances of frost are gone. But in the meantime, the bugs are after it. And I'm going to show you what these bugs look like. I believe these are white flies. There's eggs in there. There's also adults. See them around the limbs. In the back, you see one of those yellow sticky cards. You see all those little white dots? That's these pests, these bugs. So it does help, but as you can see, it does not get rid of them or slow them down enough. Because I did treat this, uh, I did conduct this process, you see that little fly flying around there, already on this, but then I realized, well, you know, I want to do a video, so I just let them keep going. So I haven't done this since the first, my process since I did this. And now what I'm going to do is show you the process I use to get rid of 95% of these. It won't get rid of the eggs. Therefore, when the eggs hatch, you'll have to do this again. So you got to keep an eye on it for the second time. And after that, it's just a little bit of maintenance. So now we'll start the process. So here we go. I've removed the little yellow sticky card because I don't want to get my attachment stuck to it. And this is the device we're going to be using. And this is nothing other than a vacuum cleaner with a little curtain brush attached to it. I hold it in an upside down position because most of these bugs and eggs are going to be under the leaves. What I'm going to try to do is get the leaf on this and scrape away the larvae and the uh, eggs and the flies, the brushes, and they'll get sick, sucked into the vacuum. So let's do it. My procedure is a strict organic control method, especially for edible plants. It will not completely eradicate bugs. For a more rigorous approach, and for non-edible plants only, after my procedure, you can spray the plant with soapy water made from one tablespoon of dish liquid soap per quart of water. Be sure to get under the leaves. If your bugs are persistent, your plants are non edible, and you do not mind chemicals, you can use a chemical spray made with seven. However, do not spray this indoors. Be sure to wear a mask. Move the plant outdoors. Spray the plant well being sure to get underneath the leaves. 
and then let the plant drip dry before bringing it back into the house. Do not do this with freezing outdoor temperatures. Okay, so we did most of the vacuuming here, but what you'll notice, like on the underside of this leaf, I turned it out so you can see it. Normally it's like this. I turned it out. See all these eggs? The vacuuming brush will not get rid of them. So I'll show you what we do to handle those. You can either wait till they hatch or vacuum this out again. You're going to have to vacuum it out again anyway because you're not going to get all these eggs. But you'll be using a set of these clippers. And what I do is I just look down to see where the eggs are laid. And then I'll just head it back. As simple as that. You see the the eggs there. And I'll go around this plant clipping where most of the eggs are. And it's not going to hurt the plant. The plant's a little leggy anyway because this plant wants to grow outside and it's growing in a window. So it gets a little leggy so it can afford to be headed back. It'll send out new shoots down the other limbs and it just gives me another another step toward uh, eliminating these bugs. And like I say, in another few days, when some of these eggs hatch that I don't find, that I don't clip off, I'll just vacuum those adults off. And then you'll see, after a couple weeks, that the plant doesn't have hardly any bugs on it. And if you keep up with it every few weeks, this is good. You're not using pesticides, so you can go ahead and you can eat the leaves from here because there's no poisons, no toxins on them. And um, this is a really good way to get rid of these bugs. Now, you might be wondering, is, is this a good thing to do if there's bugs outside? Well, if you've got a long leaf cord, it might work, yeah. Um, or, in this case, if these are white flies, you can pretty much wash them off with a stream of water. And after a couple times, they kind of... Um, figure out that it's not so good to stick around that plant and they'll go somewhere else. So I have used, you know, heavy streams of water uh, to, to get rid of some of these things outside. But some bugs, you can wash them off and they'll be right back the next day. So yeah, you can take a vacuum out there and try it. Now I've also used those small hand vacuums that are battery operated, thinking that would be great. They, they just simply don't have enough suction. They don't have enough suction for most anything. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend those, so don't go out and say, well, boy, you know, I, I learned something really great here, and I can get this portable vacuum, and it'll, it'll be a miracle worker on my outdoor crops because I can carry it around with me. And no, that's, unfortunately, that's, that's not going to work because I've already tried it. I saved you guys a time. So what I'll be doing now is cutting these back, and I'll be right back with you. So there you are. We got rid of some bugs, seriously cut into their life cycle, headed back to plant, which it needed anyway, and this plant is now on its way to being a lot more healthy. Now you would never let a plant get this far along as far as bugs on it, but I wanted to make sure you could see uh, the density of the flies, the eggs, larvae, uh, so you could relate to you know what's on your plant. And if they only had a couple on here, they'd be hard to find with the camera, very obvious here. Now we'll vacuum these uh, out again over the next couple of days because they're so heavily infested. But they, you know they will eventually uh, peter out, so I'm not concerned about that at all. So uh, thanks for joining me on this little episode of getting rid of your houseplant bugs. I hope it helps you. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And if you did, you know click the like button. And if you want to see more of these and know when they're coming out, you can subscribe to my channel. Do it yourself living and gardening. I'll see you again.